Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing a haul as you guys can see from the title. I just went shopping with my boyfriend's mom and we went to Ulta and I got a few things. Um, not too much, but I also wanted to put some things I got from Walmart because I did get some beauty products um, from Walmart as well. And some of them are new purchases that I want to use for some new videos. And then some of them are just a few repurchases. So if you guys are interested in what I will be using in my future videos and just what I got when I went shopping, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off with... Ulta, I just got a small little bag. I just got like three things. I went in there spending a lot more money than I wanted to and Yeah, so I'm just gonna reach into the bag. All right, so the first thing I got was a NYX butter gloss in the shade vanilla cream pie and I actually have it on right now. It's just really really pretty um, As you can tell the color is very beautiful um, I'm so glad that this gloss was a lot sheerer than it's showing by the packaging because that would not look good on me but I just really like this so far I've tried this um, I've pretty much tried all of the things here but not quite um, you guys will see but I'm just really liking this so far since I've gotten this I've only used it about two times so who knows my mind might change but that's the first thing that I got at Ulta the second thing I got was the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation and here is the box in case you guys have not seen this. I'm in the shade 2. I believe that's how you would say it. And I've never had like a high-end like foundation, so this is the first one. But just in case you guys have not seen the packaging, I'm sure you guys all have. Very beautiful. It looks like it would be a fancier foundation. I was trying to compare it to my like drugstore foundation. I cannot feel it on my face right now, which I really, really like with my Revlon one. You can kind of feel it, but not really. I feel like my Revlon one covers up my acne a lot better, but I'm starting to break out on the forehead again, which I don't know why I'm starting to break out now. I think it's because it's starting to warm up where I live, and my skin just doesn't know what to do. I don't know. I'm just going to try and test this out for a couple more days. Um, maybe a week, and if I don't like it, I'm going to return it. And then the last product I got was a Tarte Amazonian 12-hour blush. And this packaging is so cute. I love it. Um, I kind of had a hard time choosing a color. I don't wear blush that much, which is why I got one, because I wanted to start wearing blush. But I wanted to get a color that would not be really bright pink, really dark. I just wanted something really nice, and I just got this really beautiful peachy color, and the color is called Captivating, and it's just this really, really beautiful blush. I'm not sure, yeah, look at how beautiful that color is. Now, it's looking a lot more darker pinky color, but it honestly isn't. It's just a really nice peachy color. If I really end up liking this a lot, I'm sure I will end up buy more, but here is the shade. It's just really, really pretty. I'm not sure how well my camera is picking it up. It actually looks a lot darker on camera. Once you blend it out, it's a lot more sheer. These aren't really new products, but they're new to me. Alright, so I went to Walmart on Friday, and I picked up some beauty products. I repurchased a few things, and I'm going to start off with some things that I got a few weeks ago. Now, the first thing I got a few weeks ago is this like makeup brush holder. I'm not sure if I can show you guys this well. But I am loving this right now. It's keeping my brushes a lot more neat. I have a lot more brushes than this. They're all scattered along my table right now. But I keep my face brushes here, my eyeshadow brushes here, my eye brushes here, and then I keep some like smaller brushes here, like really short brushes that come in like a travel size. And then I just have some other blending brushes here. But the next thing I picked up from Walmart was the CoverGirl Roses True Naked palette. Now the reason I picked this up was because Casey Holmes did a review on these and she did a makeup look with these. I don't I don't think she did it with this one specifically. Can't really remember, but I was like, holy smokes, I need to get my hands on that. Now I got this around Valentine's Day timing and I wanted to do a Valentine's Day look with this, but I ended up not being able to film, so I figured I would just maybe film a video soon with these colors. Now, as you can see, these colors are very, very beautiful. I'm glad I picked this up because I don't really have any pinkies in my 
makeup collection. Um, there, as you can see, there are some purples in this. I think these matte eyeshadows are pretty decent, surprisingly. Um, I kind of think the matte eyeshadows last a little longer than the shimmer shades. I'll just swatch a few for you. So here are a few shades. I'm not sure how well you can see this. This really highlight shade is very beautiful. And here is like a more rosy shade. These two shades right here are the ones I just showed you. And I don't really like the darker colors because as you can see they're a little more like choppy. I'm just going to grab some things that I repurchased. Um, I repurchased the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for Dry Sensitive Skin. Um, they changed the topping, the top of this, which is really weird. Um, the old one used to look like this but I am pretty much out of this. I still have a bit left of this, but um, not that much. I'm just going to throw it away because it's probably gross by now. I've had it for like a year. Alright, so as you guys know, um, I love the Revlon Colorstay foundations, and I couldn't decide which one would work for me, and I just got my normal summer shade, and then I got a lighter shade. I want to bring back my summer shade, because it's way too dark for me right now. So I got the shade Buff as well. Um, as you guys know, my normal shade is Nude, but I got Buff, which is a shade lighter, which is really nice for me during the winter time. I finally found my Maybelline Master Conceal. They finally restocked it at my Walmart, so I'm so glad. So I got another one of these. And if you guys are wondering, I'm in the shade um, 20 Light, I believe it's called. Yes, 20 light. I just realized that I forgot to show something that I got from a couple weeks ago. And it's these really pretty earrings. I'm not sure how well this is picking up on my camera. I mainly got for these earrings right here. This bottom roll really sold me. Um, I already lost my earrings. I believe I left these at my aunt's. And then these ones are kind of eh. And these are just, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to wear them. But for this row, I'm definitely going to be wearing these. They're so cute. And I don't really have that much jewelry so that was the reason why I got them and I thought they were really cute so that's why I picked those up I also got a Batiste dry shampoo I just got the original one I didn't really like the more rosy one smell I just felt it smelled horrible I just feel like this one smells a lot more clean which I like and I heard this is a really good brand then I picked up the wet n wild dual ended contour stick and here is the packaging here um, I kind of want to do a first impressions on this because, I don't know, I haven't really went into the whole cream contouring thing yet. Hopefully I will soon. Um, I really want to get the Smashbox one because that one looked really good. But I haven't really seen that much on YouTube about this, so I wanted to try it out. I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this. I have not touched this. Um, I have it in the shade Light Medium. So it's basically this really big, bulky kind of contouring stick. It's a lot bigger than I thought. And here it twists up, and here is the contour um, shade. It looks a lot lighter than I thought, so that's going to look really nice. I'm not going to touch it. I really want to swatch it, but I need to save it for the first impressions. And then here is the highlighting side, so there's that. All right, and the last product that I got was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Vapor... I have no idea how to say this. Defixation. Um, all day wear. Tati actually did a five and under video and she showed this in her video. Now you guys know that I love the L'Oreal um, Infallible Setting Spray and I don't know I just kind of want to try something new since that one's a little more expensive. This one's about like $4.99 and I kind of want to do a first impressions with this as well and compare it to my L'Oreal Infallible one. Alright so as you guys can see the lighting is a little different and I'm wearing something different. Um, it's starting to be a little later in the afternoon. I just got home from school. And this is obviously, like I said, a different day. But I forgot to put in two other products that I got from the drugstore, which I completely forgot about. Well, actually, I ordered one on Amazon and the other at Walmart. And I just wanted to throw these in for you guys quick. And I needed a mascara because you guys know I love this mascara. Um, but it's almost to the point where it's about to um, not be good anymore. I've been adding some Visine into it, but um, this is... I think I'll probably only get a couple more uses out of this before it starts going bad. But I went ahead and I picked up the L'Oreal 
Telescopic Mascara. It's a pretty, like, not new product, but I read some reviews and apparently it was really good. And I just picked this up because I need a new mascara. So I went on Amazon and I got some more Real Techniques beauty splenders, beauty sponges, whatever you want to call it, because I really needed some. My blender was getting really disgusting, but here's the one that I'm using. I also went to Kohl's and I got a few things. I got these. The first thing I got was a pair of like leggings, yoga pants, and it's just got this really, really cool design on the legs. As you guys can see, if you guys can see on the inside, it's got this really, really soft um, material, which is the main reason why I got them, and they were so comfy, and it like really hugged like my figure, like around the legs. I don't really have anything like this, and I figured it'd be kind of cool to have something new. Here are the leggings on me, and they are so cute, and they fit me pretty well. They are a little loose, but I could not pass these up because I have nothing like these. We're going to be getting into summertime, springtime. I got a few like spring things. Um, they had these on sale. I just got a striped tank top. Um, I always wear tank tops all the time during the spring and summer, so I just got another one. Here is the really pretty striped tank top. I wear a lot of tank tops during the spring and summertime, and this is going to be perfect. And like I said, I have nothing like this, and it is so cute. Thing I got was a really, really like pretty black shirt. I'm sure it'll look a lot cuter on me, but it's got like the little, um, like I don't know how to explain this, like the more like cuffed up towards like the more cuffed sleeve. It's really cute. I don't know how to describe this. Um, and then it's got a little cute little jewel thing here. Same with the other side. And I just really liked this because, well, it is a more sheer, like almost see through fabric, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. It's not completely tight, but it's a little more baggy. It's supposed to be more baggy, but it looked really, really cute. So I'm going to really enjoy wearing this as well. Here's the shirt on me. Very loose, very cute, perfect for springtime. And I just cannot wait to start wearing this because I have nothing like this, pretty much like all of the clothes I have got today. And then the last thing I got at Kohl's, which I really want to put a picture in for this um, item of clothing, was a really simple black dress. I think it's going to be perfect for more springtime and you guys can't really see how it looks on the bottom but it's like that really pretty like more formed around the like boob and like the um like stomach area and then it like kind of goes out in that really cute way. It's the bottom you guys can't really see that but in person it's really pretty and then in the back it has a little cut off and it's just very simple and I don't have anything like this and I feel like it'd look really cute with a pair of flats or just some really pretty heels but yeah this is really cute as well here is the simple black dress on me it's so cute it is a lot cuter in person on camera looks a little weird but as you can see it's a little loose in the back um, but the size smaller than this size was a little uncomfortable and as you can see it kind of flares down at the bottom like I was trying to tell you in the video but so cute so that was it. That was my Ulta and Walmart haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I definitely need to get some new products. If you guys enjoyed this video, then hit the like button down below. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button as well. And if you are new to my channel, how are you guys doing? Hit the subscribe button to be notified when I post a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!